When you work with Excel, the most important is the data. If your data are not properly ordered, you cannot use the tool like Pivot Table, for instance. Look at this document. As you can see here, it's very easy for me to analyze it. I have the year, the months, and in function of the store or the item, I've got value. Okay, it's great, but it's great for human, not for a machine and not for Excel. What is the best way to present this data? Well, in fact, it should be like this. Exactly the same information, the date, the store name, the different item and the value, and the value in only one column. Like that, after with the tool pivot table, I can aggregate this data and automatically return the value. So here, in fact, even if the presentation looks good, because it's easy for me, a human, to read the content of my document, it is absolutely not the best way to present your data for Excel. So now in this video, I'm going to show you how I can easily convert this document to this one in a few steps. So how I can convert easily this document in just one single list document? To do that, I'm going to use the tool Power Query and Power Query here in Excel 2016. It's here in the tab Data and it's this tool. If you don't have Excel 2016, you can also use Power Query with Excel 2013 with an add-in and you can download it for free on the web. But as you can notice here, if I want to collect this data, I need to put my data in a table. So first step here, I go in Insert and insert a table. My table has either OK and automatically the selection is adjusted to my range of cells. Great, it's done. I can give another name like this. So I return to data and from table range. So now I open Power Query. As you can notice in Excel, I have my original Excel and my Power Query editor. So here, what I have, I have exactly the same data. What I need to do is to unpivot this column and to do that, Power Query is really a great tool. I just have to select the first one. I press Shift and the last column. I go to the tab Transform, unpivot column and look at the magic. Automatically, I have a column with the name of the month and my value. So as you can see, it looks like we have finished the job, but it's not so simple. Look at the date. As you can notice here, the first column, it's the year, but it's not a date. It's just a value, the value 2017. And what about the month? The month is a text, Jan, Feb, March, and it's not the value of the month. So first, what I'm going to do is to convert the months as a value 1, 2, 3, 4. And to do that, I'm going to use this great tool in the tab Add Colon, Colon from Examples. So I just have here to fill what is the result that I want. So here I want 1. Here I want 2. And look at that automatically here, Power Query it's generating the formula corresponding to what I'm filling here. And I continue for the rest of my value. And that's it. So you can see the formula is huge, but it doesn't matter. I just press OK. And I have here all the value corresponding to the months. Now, what I have to do is to add another column with just the value 1 for the first day of each month. So here, custom colon. Day and just press one. So here I have the day, the month and the year. So now what I'm going to do is to merge all the three columns to create my date. So the order of selection is very important. So first I select day. I press control to make a multi selection. I press the colon of the month here, custom, and finally 
the year. I go to the tab Transform, Merge Colon, my separator, it's a custom one, it's a slash, the delimiter for the date, and here my colon will be named date. I press OK. And as you can see here, I have removed all the three other colon in only one, it's my date. But watch out, in Power Query, the type of data, it's very important. And as you can notice in my colon date, it's located on the left of the colon. That means it's a text, and I want to convert that as a date. Well, I have to do this simple action. I click here, and I select date. And now I have date. So here I have text, good. Here, text as well. I don't need this colon anymore. Right-click, remove and value, perfect, the type here, it's decimal number, just in case if I have decimal value. And that's it, so now I return to home, close and load, and the job is done. So here I start with only 133 rows and after modification it becomes 1584 rows but it's exactly what I want to use any tool like pivot table.